YouTube friends. I'm going to say good morning to you. We're going to do a little leather work today. We uh, want to show you some of the leather that we got uh, at the Tandy Leather Black Friday sale. <coughs> we usually don't go to Black Friday sales, but uh, we did go to the Tandy uh, Leather Black Friday sale. Got some wonderful deals on some uh, quality leather. Got a lot of nice two ounce at a really, really good price. Uh, we have been doing some leather work. As you know, we got two places here where we live and the other place. <clears throat> we spend a lot of time over there. Got a lot of cement work going on over there and some other things. And uh, we like to spend a lot of time in here. We like to carve, as you know, and uh, we really like the leather, do the leather work there. But uh, real quick, you remember that knife, we made that in the blacksmith shop. We came in here and made us a nice little case for the knife there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, try to make this video short as long as the phone will hold up there. But the case turned out really, really nice, and uh, we've done some other uh, projects. we got to finish the tender pouches up, but uh, I'm going to kind of walk you around a little bit, show you around in here some of the uh, leather that we got, uh, um, and the deals that we got real quick. This would be that Homestead Axe. We made a nice little case for it. Turned out really nice. Um, and leather work, it's only as hard, I guess, as a person makes it. I really wasn't going to tool a whole lot of leather on YouTube because I'm really not getting anywhere on YouTube. But uh, we'll go ahead. And here's another one that we finished uh, not too long ago. But uh, it's another one of the axes. And uh, there's some really good axe videos out there as well, other channels. But uh, we like to do the leather work. We like to uh, do it for other people. You can make a nice little piece of money with the leather work at times. But uh, again, let me show you around here some of the leather we got, and some of the things that we're doing here on the table, and we'll see where we're at there. Real quick, you know, we're going to put that in there. We thank a lot of our flag and we thank a lot of our country. And we thank God for it. But first of all, we got some uh, really, really nice uh, exotic skin. And we just got a wonderful deal on those. Uh, that's not really a snake skin, that's an imitation, been printed, but uh, it's going to make a real nice uh, sheath or something, or a tinder bag. And uh, I had to kind of move some things around, but uh, we got some really, really nice patent leathers. Just very nice but uh here's the uh two ounce i was telling you about really really i turn that light off that roll right there uh, has 48 square feet in it we got a really good deal we got two of them while we were there and some other things but uh we just want to kind of show you the leather and some of the deals that you can get. Put that back on. And uh, we've got to finish the tender pouches. We don't have long to uh, get those done. But uh, we made a nice little pouch for, uh, oh, I forget what they call it, but it has a little pair of pliers and 
knife and everything in it. You know what I'm talking about. But uh, some other leather work that we've done. But we're actually working on this piece right here. And I know you think that uh, tooling the leather is really hard, but it's really, it's easy. And uh, we're doing another piece. It would be the other side to that piece. And then here's the strap. It goes, uh, I got the axe around here someplace. I'd have to try to find it. But uh, you actually take the uh, piece of rabbit or whatever it is that you're going to tool. You need a piece of carbon paper. Just the carbon paper here. You've all seen carbon paper. You place it underneath the, uh, the stencil there. Trace around it and it'll put it on your uh, leather. Then you take the swivel knife. And you cut around everything. You can see where I've cut around all these rabbits. And you have to take the little beveler. You can see how it's uh, shaped there. And there's all sizes of bevelers. There's the small one and the, you have a bigger one. You see the shape of it. Well, you put the edge right on your uh, and then go around it. Tapping it with your little hammer there really hard for me to make a video and use my phone and show you how to do it but uh, in the future we may learn how to do it there but real quick here let me show you some of the tools and things that we use for the leather work there but leather work once you get into it you'll find out that <clears throat> it's a lot easier than you think it is and the uh, dyeing leather is, uh, it's not like you painted it. The dye just soaks into the leather real quick, so there's not a lot of room for uh, to make a mistake. But real quick, here's the pattern for this knife. You just make a pattern out of a piece of cardboard or paper. Trace around the uh, on the leather, cut it out. Kind of, uh, you have to kind of take the beveler to the end or the, uh, I forget what they call this tool, but you kind of an edge edging tool and you trim that off. But anyway, we just wanted to kind of share some of the leather work with you this morning. If you're stuck in in the winter time like I am sometimes, you can, uh, it's really a good project, good hobby to have, and uh, you can uh, kill a lot of time, make a little money at it as well. And the sheath that I'm working on real quick is for this axe right here. It's a very old axe. I guess it would be a broad hatchet or broad axe or I know it's beveled on the one side, but anyway, we're going to make a nice little sheath to uh, cover the edge of it and help protect it. Real quick, let me spin around here. I want to say God bless to you. Thanks for coming by the channel and watching the video. Remember, you can get some great deals on the leather work. Leather, leather products at Tandy Leather. You have a good day and we'll catch you in the next video.